Okay, welcome back <clears throat> to my let's play of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition on the PC. We last time we went into a ancient tomb, uh, home of a vampire. We killed him pretty easily, and then we met another vampire who killed our acquaintance, I guess. Uh, and then she asked us to go visit her in the slums, in the Copper Coronet. And I think I said I was going to do that off camera, and then I didn't do it, because I didn't do anything. So, whoops, slipped my mind. Let's just pop in there real quick. Very well. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I don't know exactly where she is. Declare yourself. Could be anywhere. Declare yourself. <laughs> so, the Copper Coronet is a tavern in all that good stuff. But it's also got some seedier things in the back. Hello. Hello I don't recall seeing your face in here before. Strangers aren't exactly welcome in these parts. Then let's not remain strangers. I am Mang. Yes, well, I am Lettinen, proprietor of the Copper Coronet, if you will. Welcome. I'm looking to dispose of some coin. Any ideas on how to spend it? coin is always welcome you'll find the copper coronet able to fulfill your needs whether drink rest or other sorts of entertainment other sorts of entertainment what are you talking about oh one is always able to provide entertainment things like companionship perhaps or gambling on battles and other things uh what are what sorts of other things you're referring to i'm interested very well, you look like one who might appreciate such entertainments. There is more to my little place than meets the eye. Go over to the fellow by the door on the far wall and tell him I said to let you in. Talk to Frankie or perhaps Madame Nin if you wish to partake and enjoy. Yes, back rooms. So you got some, you know, good old-fashioned hookers. All that stuff. Um, which is fine and dandy. A nice background noise and then uh, we have some gladiatorial combat that we can bet on <clears throat> which uh, involves pitting slaves against monsters of various types it's very illegal linus i need a swig of some strong dwarven ale wonderful your name wouldn't be linus would it well, yes, it is. How did you know that? I have been sent by the ghost of the little boy you murdered to retrieve his stuffed bear. Hand it over now. You're, you're here to retrieve his bear? I, I think I have it around here somewhere. Yes, let me take a look. Ah, yes, here it is. G give that to the little bloody bastard and tell him to stay away from me. Better hope this is what the boy is looking for. Oh, it is, it is. I'll just collect me things and I'll be out of your hair. I could have killed him, but fuck it. Not everyone deserves to die. Right? Eddie, citizen. You're welcome to enjoy the exclusive entertainments offered by the Copper Coronet. Feel free to look around. Mind if I do. Well, if we go this way... You can go up to the... Why, hello to you, dear customers. Welcome to the pit. The pit. You have animal fights back here, too, then? Better than that. Here we have the very best in live entertainment. Actual combat between man and beast, presented for your viewing pleasure. Witness as the Coronet's own gladiators fight for their lives in the pit. Feel free to join the nobles in the viewing balcony above, my lord. Isn't this sort of thing illegal? Legalities are such a technicality. The amusements are here for your enjoyment. Let Lettinen and his staff worry about such matters as legality. 
So you're saying that there are fighters willing to risk their lives for the sake of entertainment. Willing or unwilling, it makes little difference. The gladiators fight to amuse our clientele. I'm sure you'll agree they put on an excellent show. You mean that they're slaves. Slavery is such a harsh word, my lord. Here we think of them as purchased employees and an excellent source of entertainment. Go on in and witness it for yourself. I see, when's the next match? I understand there's a match ready to be underway very soon. Go on in, my lord, and see for yourself. So yeah, you can head up to this balcony. You can overlook the pits where they do battle. By my blood, I possess the right. Soon's patience, not another one. Um, and eventually, at some point, you can place bets. It's not a particularly effective way to win money. And so I always just clear it out and rescue the slaves because I'm a good guy. Well met and welcome. Be merry, friend. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a passageway into the sewers here. I don't think there's really much to do there. And then if we go back here, we get into a fight with the guards. So let us prepare. yourself what are you doing down here this is a restricted area leave immediately or face the consequences uh all right i'm leaving no need to get violent leave immediately sure, sure thing you fuck face hmm i could have sworn there were more guards in that Uh, huh. Okay. Now the main guy here that's a prisoner. A moment, friend. This guy, Hendak. You are obviously not aligned with our captors. Might I know your name? Yeah, this is Arnold. Uh, my name is Mang, and I'm certainly not aligned with Letton and his men. Who are you? I am Hendak, proud warrior from the north. Until my capture by slavers, I have been imprisoned longer than any of these men and survived, though only barely. I have done what I can to aid those other slaves and keep them living through the battles that Lettinen puts on to amuse his noble friends. I beg of you, please free us. I have never begged before. Yet I do it now so I might wreck, wreak vengeance on Lettinen and end his sick and twisted enterprise. I have little taste for it myself. Very well. I will attempt to free you if I can. Truly hope you'll be able to, friend. The Beastmaster has the key to our cells. If you get the key from him, we will be able to escape. I'll try, Hendak. Wait here. May the gods aid your task. Would that I could help, but I shall have to be content with the hope that Letnin will feel the cold swiftness of my blade. So, we gotta go kill the Beastmaster. Uh, not, you know, not THE Beastmaster, but you know. Dangerous mistake. A solid. It's a beast master. So he's at the end of this hallway. And once we see him, he's going to open all these cages that have a bunch of different monsters and animals. So ideally, we want to pop him with a skull trap. From a distance. Actually, I mean, we could drop a fucking cloud killer. Something. I mean, we could do all sorts of shit. For a goddamn sorcerer. There we go. And there we go. So. Pop off a web. God, why are you running? Cast the fucking spell! Yep.
That's a bummer. On my gun. Oh, come on. Grab it. No. Alright, fuck it. Actually, fuck it. <laughs> Enough your bullshit. A dangerous mistake. Yes. Good start. I guess. Always a problem with fucking web. Come on. Oh, we got more mutated giverlings. Get out of his cage. I don't want to know if I actually want to do that. What is my? It shall be. I know that it was there, but I didn't know if I could trigger it if I put a skull trap right in front of him. I guess we're just gonna blast him. A dangerous mistake. A solid. Uh, yep. We can hit him with this. Why does that never work? To battle. Maybe it doesn't victory. work if I have the meteors. No, I just maybe uh, it's because I'm pausing. I don't know how it works in combat. I don't get it. Get fucked. That's that. Not quite over yet. There's still a couple guards I think we have to kill. You have the key! You have it! Thank the gods! And thank you truly, my friend, for what you have done. We are free, my brothers. Go now and free the women. Hendak will strike his blade into the heart of our so-called owner, so that he shall never trouble you again. Go and savor your freedom. Free the women. Praise be, we are free. Free at last. Thank you again, my friends. Now, to the task of killing that fiend Leighton. Assist me if you wish. Otherwise... Stand and watch the vengeance of Hendak be fulfilled. Run! Run! The slaves have escaped! Oh! Run for your lives! They'll kill us for certain! Yes, they will. To battle and victory! Oh! Damn! And victory! A dangerous mistake. Yeah, we're doing all right. And then there's Leighton, who we don't have to kill. What? Hendak? 
you ignorant barbaric slave! You're behind all of this chaos, aren't you? I'll take it out of your hide! Enough, fiend. You no longer own me. And I'll ensure that you no longer claim ownership over any other as well. I've survived your hellish fighting pit for years. You are no match for me. We shall see. There. It is finally over, Lady. All the years of cruel and evil acts that you have committed for nothing more than coins in your pocket. Burn in the abyss, fiend! I owe you my thanks once again. As do all those you have freed. I intend to take this place as payment for my slavery, to ensure it is never used as such again. I wish you did not have to ask, but there is one more task that needs doing. The slavers remain at large within Athkatla, hidden at their base here in the slums. They have many children, yet they, they retain as slaves. I would ask you to rid the city of this infestation once and for all. More slavers in the city? Very well, we shall do what we can. I knew you would not let me down. The compound is not far from here. A dry docked boat just across the way on the east side of the slum. Maybe risky to approach openly. There was talk of a secret passage to the sewer connecting the coronet to the slaver base, but I do not know where it might be. I know nothing of the defenses of the place inside, however. My stay there was brief and very long ago. I shall go to this compound then and return as soon as I am able. Good fortune to you, my friend. Alright. So we got a whole bunch of XP. Good stuff. Some money. I will always be grateful for your assistance. Um we can talk to I got some cheap Bernard. Bernard. Stone to flesh scrolls six hundred smackaroos. All these scrolls are six hundred. That's big money. Um yeah, he can't identify, so I'll we'll have to leave that. But we didn't find fucking uh Hexat here. She's supposed to be here. Uh Right, that's that's what I wanna tell me. Yeah, I don't know. She said copper coronet, right? Or did I imagine that? I sort of looked over everything. Oh, there's this gentleman. I have a cool spell to blast you with? Sure I do. Sure I do. Okay. Anyways. I will always be grateful for your assistance. Uh let's uh I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. What? Is there another bouncer around or something? I got me some nice looking waitresses, don't I? <laughs> That's creepy. Consider it done. Okay, I'll just sleep outside. Uh, alright. We don't want to go take on the rest of the slavers just yet. Let's check out some of the other. You've seen the graveyard, seen the slums. Go to the docks. I await you. Although at night, there's probably gonna be a vampire here. Good business to you. You, you there, I know you. You owe a brawn money. Pay me now. I owe you money. How much are we talking here? Or as much as you want to pay me. I'm open to anything. Very well, then. Here's a gold piece to tide you over. Well, that'll pay off part of your debt. I'll take this as a down payment. Great. There's the vampire attacking some shadow thieves. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I can cast magic here or not. Well, we just quick saved. I don't think we can. <laughs> but 
but fuck it. Let's find out. And then you can see what happens, I guess. Yep, you immediately get accosted. Declare yourself. Practice of magic without a license is forbidden in the city of, Ka of Athkatla. You shall receive one warning only. Further spell casting will result in your death. But I have seen others casting spells without repercussion. Why am I being singled out? As I said, those who are not cowled wizards or are without a proper approved license may not practice magic in this city. Licenses are subject to the approval of the cowled wizards, providing you are a responsible and sane practitioner. Seek a representative of ours in the Council of Six building in the Government District, if you wish. Continue to use magic without approval, and you will be labeled a deviant and dealt with appropriately. Fail to heed this warning at your own peril. Yeah, so... If you were a melee character, you could sit here and beat on her. I, it's funny that he just says this message to you right in front of this vampire of slaughtering men. No, you are not to see this yet. You have not chosen your side. When the time comes, obey. Obey, or you will join the thieves in death. Such is the will of the mistress. What are you talking about? Why were you fighting these people? Such things are not for you to know, yet. When the time comes, you will know much, and if the mistress bids it, you may also live. Yeah. Um... A note. Proclamation of warning to all guild members. Shadow Council itself decrees that all chapters should be on their guard against the upstart Assassin's Guild usurping our membership. The lure of coin is naught but bait, and it is suspected that the end of those that have defected has been most bloody. No guild can rival the Shadow Thieves, so any that claim as such must have darker motives. You have been warned of the cost of treachery. Yes, so... Oh, fuck. It's like I can't do anything. And they know it. Let me just bounce out real quick. God damn it. Hold, boys. Intruders are upon us. Kill them all, for we well know that we must leave no witnesses. It shall be. Yeah, and it's really shitty, because I'd like to rescue that guy, but I can't. I have to get a license. I'll be working that on, uh, on that in my own time. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let me just... Oh, let's have another dream, shall we? Oh, this is like the best one. Life is strength. This is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside. This woman lives and has strength of a sort. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. Her land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. I have no interest in the horrors you offer. None of this is to be believed. Really? But the consequences are so very real. Your actions affect so many others than yourself, you will come to realize how little choice you have. You will do what you must, become what you must, or others will pay for your cowardice. You will accept the gifts offered to you. John Irenicus, man. Crazy. <sighs> All right. Uh, just pop back over to the docks. I will do my best. So every one of these little read these districts um, in Athkatla has 
just a whole slew of side there's just so many side quests in this game you can do um primarily the docks involve the shadow thieves this guild of thieves um that you can join and do some missions for them and eventually become like the head of a chapter i don't know if i'll do that because i'm not especially thievy but you could uh sorry if i disturbed your chain of thought but you look new to the city and i wondered if i might lend you a hand i look new what do you how do you mean i didn't mean anything bad by that you just don't have the look of one of the locals shows in the way you wear your tunic or maybe how you stand just thought i'd offer a friendly word or two before you experienced otherwise this place can treat newcomers quite rude sometimes ah welcoming committee of one very well what words of advice do you have oh not much i don't claim to be an authority or anything just like meeting new people I say one thing, though. I don't go out much at night. We've got this Thieves' Guild, see? They ain't so bad, but there's another guild that's fighting them. I've seen people get caught in the middle, and it isn't pretty. Mostly only happens at night, though, and the city is so much more impressive during the day anyway. Thanks for the word of warning. Anything else? Nope. Have a good stay in Athkanla. Safe travels, friend. It's just his name is Helpful Man. Kneel and repent. You! Bow, worm, and pray that Sirik allows you to become one of his holy worshippers. Cast aside whatever false god you pray to and embrace the Prince of Lies in all his majesty. What if I am already one of the faithful? You preach to the choir, my dark friend. Oh, well, all right then. <laughs> Simple as that. Explain your intent and... I know. You there. You a friend of Galen's. Me boss says you're welcome to enter if he likes. That is the Shadow Thieves headquarter there. Um, yeah, so, I just want to show off these different regions, since it's hard to say how much you'll really see throughout this playthrough. They are certainly docks. Yep. Yep. Let's move on. None of these districts are very large or expansive. You know, it's nothing like that. Uh, but they pack a lot of content into these small districts. Some of these side quests are just like, you know, 10-minute ordeals. Some of them are very lengthy. You'll be running around at Kotla and outside and doing all sorts of stuff. It's a role-playing game. All right, let's head to the bridge. You have been yes. Fuck. Like, what are these things doing in the city? Isn't there a guard? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, God. Greetings, citizens. I trust you'll be keeping your weapons at your sides. I should hate to have to run you by the garrison if anything should happen. I'm sure there are more important things than me for you to worry about. Without question, but I'm making it my business to warn everybody on the street tonight. With all your gear, you might look a rich target to the wrong person. I'm warning everyone so as to get the word out that there are guards on the streets. We've had a, a string of killings, and I don't want any more happening. What, a couple of fools die in a bar fight or something? That is no less a crime than anywhere else, but no, the deaths are even more pointless than that. Murder, but not like any I've seen before. Disgustingly sick person out there. I simply don't have the manpower to protect everyone. He's been killing paupers, sometimes in the alley where they sleep. Why would someone prey on the poor? What could they have to take? Nothing. They have nothing to take. He kills them and that is all. Not only is it pointless, but he does it in as painful a way as possible. It's... it's sick. He flays them, alive. There has been blood all over the area. Little Faraji, a local urchin, found the latest victim. I hate to think of a child seeing that. Enough of this. I must go about my rounds. If you find any information about the murders, be sure to let me know. Don't go looking for trouble, though. I have enough problems with walkers and beggars. Old Rampa was damn near killed, and a street woman in the area, Rose, was plain lucky. Don't be like them. Very well. So, the bridge. Uh, yeah, the primary. Tell you, a few words, sure enough. tell you, it's only going to get worse. 
And you can't tell who they are by looking at them. This one here was in my tavern just last night. Hush up, you. He was a man like any other. Just because he was in there with that shadow thief crowd doesn't mean you should refuse to serve him. Got his own trouble anyway, without you helping. Have to refuse half the city if you bar shadow thieves. Probably end up dead, too. They don't scare me. Look at this bunch. Dead as they can get. And their little black... Their black little hoods didn't help them one bit. What killed them was a lot more than you could handle. Look. Look at the marks on them. If this is a guild war like they say, it's just going to get worse. Yeah, yeah, you said that already. Maybe... Maybe I should close up shops for a few ten days. I could use a break. You close up when someone spills salt or forgets to knock on wood, you old worry wart. Business as usual for me. We'll see. Guild wars just mean trouble. Lots of trouble. So yeah, you know, everyone assumes it's a guild war, but it seems like some vampires are just running around slaughtering them. Um... So the primary thing going on in the bridge district is this murder mystery. There's a serial killer on the loose who's killing peasants, or he's killing homeless people. Um, the this, the guards here are at a loss, and you can uh, join the investigation and figure out what's happening and why. It's sort of pretty cool. Um, there are a couple of other, a few other side quests here. Nothing too major, I think. Uh, the main feature is this murder mystery, and I'll probably end up doing never it. Have her, you ridiculous fool. No, it is you that she'll never have her. She loves me. No, she loves me. Me. Boys, boys, don't fight over me, please. Fight over? What an excellent idea. Yes, we shall fight over our beloved bubbles. Yes, that sounds most wonderful. Shall we start now? Certainly, if you wish to. Certainly. Well, fine. Go ahead, then, if that's what you boys have to do. Hello, pal. Most excellent. I have defeated the loathsome Carvos. Come, my beloved Bubbles, let us go. You splattered blood on my dress, you ignorant dolt. I'm not going anywhere with you. Bubbles, but... But Bubbles, but I love you, my chicken pot pie. Come back. Brilliant. So, um, that's pretty much a bridge district. Not too crazy. Then we have the government district. Of course, we get attacked by bandits. Someday we'll be able to just kill him, but not yet. As you ask. So the government district uh, holds a few different important buildings. One, of course, is the Cowled Wizard's headquarters. <coughs> Greetings, you are known to me, or your deeds are known to those I serve. I think I should introduce myself. I am Medine. I represent one of the masters of the Athkatla Order of the Cowled Wizards. He seeks to employ you in a matter of some urgency. The Cowled Wizards. They are the ones that arrested Imowin. I would be very interested in speaking to them about that. Do not know anything about that. I represent one of the wizards, as I said, a master Tolgarius. Perhaps you could speak to him of this Imowin. Very well. How do I go about meeting this Tolgarius fellow? He will be most pleased. Master Tolgarius can be found in the government building behind me. You may go within. Do not tarry over long, my friend. Yeah, we can talk to the cowled wizards. Um, if I head to the left, there is a woman, a drow, who is about to be, like, burned at the stake. And we can rescue her and bring her into our party. I don't really want to initiate that dialogue right now. But you could. You could. Look at how fluorescent this guy is. It's not a district I've spent a great deal of time in. But maybe I should. Just avoid that. Let's 
poking around so I can look at the map here. We have a prison, the Temple of Joaquin, a couple of state buildings, the park, the Council of Six building. Eh, I mean, it's I, I have always felt it's the least interesting of the districts. But we'll definitely be exploring the uh, Cowled Wizard's place. Got to get that magic license. So we can start blasting anybody we want. Guards just shouting for the glory of Om. Oh, God. It's very Elder Scrolls. All right. And then there's the Temple District. This it is an interesting be. district. There are... Is it four temples, I think? Four or five or something? Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. Heed my words. We have been chosen as the recipients of a most holy miracle. One that should neither be dismissed nor ignored. I, Gaul, I who have been stripped of my eyes most mercifully, have been shown the truth that has eluded the sighted the gods that you worship are false gods. Icons that serve to increase the wealth of churches and heathens. Listen to them not. Hold. You speak of blasphemy. The Morning Lord Lathander has always shown his benevolence and power. His presence among us is unquestionable. Is it, priest? I ask all of you to question for a moment if what the priest says is true. Yes, his false god grants him power to fuel his spells, much as any wizard might possess. I say that the churches lie to you. They claim their gods are present when they do nothing other than require your coin to fill their pockets. No, what you're saying cannot be true. The gods have ever protected us. Hmm, is that so? Have they protected you from famine? Have they protected you from disease? Have they wrought harmony upon Faerun? No, they have not! They lie and cloud your sight to gain your worship of their false images. I have stripped myself of their foul eyes, and I see what is the truth. The truth, I tell you! You lie, you lie! The gods exist! Such words are a horrid affront to the gods! Surely you will pay for this! Quiet! Listen to what he has to say. I call on you to abandon your false gods. They have done nothing for you. Cast them aside and join me on the true path. Join me in the calling of the true sight. What, what does that mean? Shall we tear our own eyes out then? Don't be foolish. What shall we do then? Who shall we turn to if there's no gods? But there is a god. There is the true God. The unseeing eye is here amongst us. He offers the faithful a clarity of vision, the true path to the divine. He offers you protection and succor. Do not listen to him. He seeks to poison your minds. <sighs> what has your God ever done for me, eh? Hey? I'm poorer and no better off than I ever was. Don't speak to the priest in that tone. The gods will be offended. Don't you hear what he's saying? There are no gods to be offended. I'd say we see what this unseeing eye has to offer. I, I wish to see you. No, my friends, you do not wish to see. Forget what the years of lies have taught your eyes. You wish to know. You wish to learn. These are the truths that the unseeing eye can offer to you. A truer gift that you'll not find amongst any of these other so-called deities. Come, witness the miracle of the truth. Come and behold the unseeing eye for yourself. And see the true God that is present amongst us. No, do not go with him. I'll do as I wish. I want the truth. Show me the unseeing eye. Yes, show me. Come then. Those of you who wish to become the truly faithful, 
to witness the magnificence of the unseeing eye and the truth he brings. Come with me. What are you doing? Are you mad? Quit your mouth, wench. Ah, if you do not wish to see the truth, that is your business. Come then, my faithful. Follow me. <coughs> so. No, no. Uh, this will not do at all. We cannot have the slim of faith lured away by such talk. They must be nurtured that they might choose the righteous path. You there, you are certainly on your way to visit the Temple of the Morning Lord. I would ask your service for a time in exchange for the favor of the Temple. Meet me at the Temple of Lathander, and we shall discuss this further. I must prepare the faithful for what must be done. Come soon. Or perhaps you follow the word of Helm. If, you, if so, you should hurry to his temple. It matters not which of us you undertake this mission for, as long as you see to it quickly. So yes, uh, that was a lot of voice acting for a side quest, but the Cult of the Eyeless is a fairly major side quest. Um, really good stuff as you sort of plumb the depths and find out about this really freaky cult and what exactly the, the god of the Unseen Eye is. Uh, I tend to I tend to do that side quest. It's cool. So, the temple district has a number of temples. Uh, but, uh, maybe it's I thought it was maybe it's only three. Maybe it's only three temples. Helm, Lathander, and uh, what is your name? Talos, yeah. Talos. Uh, and then there's the entrance to the sewers, uh, which is a, sort of its own district in its own, really. And obviously for all these districts, some side quests are going to have you travel to other districts and do some things. There's, I think, one of the quests for the Shadow Thieves involves you sneaking into one of these temples and stealing something, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but every district pretty much has, like, one major side quest thing that you can partake in. So the Call to the Eyeless is the one here. And it's pretty cool. And here's the Pimlico Estate. Okay. Then, finally, you have the City Gates, the smallest district. Uh, it's just a couple buildings, and then the gates. Declare yourself. Old traveler, what is your business here in Athkatla? I am a simple merchant. I deal in spices and silks. Spices? Is that a fact? Stand and deliver whilst I search you. Now, really, there is no cause for that. I think there is. Here, then, is this some of your spices? Why, yes, yes they are. Though, if you were to think them suspect, would a few gold and a sample turn your eye? A few gold, you say? Hmm, I don't know. I think you'll find my spices well worth it. It is difficult, especially difficult, to acquire lotus petals of such a dark hue, almost black. You've a deal. On your way, then. Thank you very much, good sir. Yep, so they're smuggling in drugs, and the guards at the gates don't give a shit as long as you bribe them. Perfect. From the gates, you can then travel out into the world. As I mentioned, you have Watcher's Keep, you have Windspear Hills. We learned about Dearnese Hold from Drew Barrymore. We can go there and do that whole side quest. And then there's these two forests, which... I don't really remember specifically, so it must be either Enhanced Edition or Throne of Baal. More likely Enhanced Edition, because I really don't remember this. Now, if we go to Windspear Hills right now, we will be immediately attacked by a group of enemies. And the thing is, I can't, like, prepare defensive spells, because it takes 24 hours to get there. So, there's really nothing I can do other than quick saving. Um... And if I cast any spells here anyways, I'd get arrested. So, we'll give it a try. This is not what I was referring to. I was just us being accosted. This is what I was referring to. 
Beasts, curse, your terror ends here. No, yours is the evil that will be crushed here today. You're awfully eloquent for a beast of your size. We should talk a moment. No more words. Your lies will taint this land no longer. Your crimes will trouble the people not a second more. All right. Now, if I can fire off a skull trap very quickly, we can do some good. Consider it, done. Yeah, it did. Now, shit. Um. Yep. It shall be. It's a difficult fight, especially for a, like a solo spellcaster. Not impossible, but difficult. I mean, it doesn't really put us at a great advantage. We want to head south now and start blast. Yes, consider it done. Oh fuck, that's not what I meant to do. I will do my best. Okay, good. Uh let's buff. Okay, they bypassed the web. Yeah, sleep isn't too great. I can't Ah fuck. It's not gonna happen. I don't know if I can even do it at this point in time. It shall be. Uh, and if I can, it's gonna take a lot of trial and error and luck. Consider it done. Damn it. Damn it. Just waded through it. Yeah. Shit. It shall be. I mean, it's really like, it's, yes. it's like a difficulty check, really. If you can make it past that, you're, you might be okay to continue doing that whole side quest for Furk Rag. If you can't make it past this entrance, you are not ready to do <laughs> Windspear Hills. Uh, the bummer is, though, is that we can very easily, like, hand in this acorn so we get past this fight but you have to get past this fight I will do my best. turns out we got really lucky with that first win the only other thing i can think of is buffing ourselves immediately and then walking past yes consider it done It's not really a cool way to do it, but if we're actually if we could have left at that point. If we leave. Okay, I will do my just, best. That was just check. Let me travel. Yes. Okay. I'm just 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 checking some stuff. Very well. Fuck. Oh fuck. Done. It's doable, but it's tricky and I don't wanna just sit here and waste your time trying it over and over. Uh, and I'll probably go do other stuff first anyways. So here we enter the dilemma then of what do I show you? I mean, I know it's tempting for me to just show you a bunch of these cool side quests. Um, but it's going to get out of hand. And so we really have to curtail it. There's a lot of game left. We're on chapter two. And 
Hold on, let me even let me just check. Not clue not including throne of ball. There are seven chapters. It's a little misleading, though, because chapters vary in length quite a bit. But the point is, there's going to be large chunks of the game where I can't help but show you everything. You know, because it's just you're, you're going through, like, linear sections or, or you're, you're, you're in a dungeon, you know, whatever. Um, and I'm just going to show you everything. So since I have this opportunity here where I don't need to show you everything, I will probably come back once I have the 20,000 gold. Sad to say, as it might be for some of you that are familiar with it or whatever, if you are sitting there saying like, oh, I wish you'd show us all this cool stuff, just play the game, baby. It's awesome. You can do all this shit yourself. Um, that's how it's going to be. So when I come back, we'll have 20,000 gold. We'll hand it in and we'll move on to chapter three. Um, cause the game gets pretty, pretty awesome as far as like fighting and doing some crazy high level stuff and mind flayers and dragons and beholders and all that good stuff. So I mean, if you play the game yourself, this is the stuff you're going to encounter very early on, so it doesn't take much to get to where I am. But all right, my name is Mang. Game watching has been Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.